Special thanks to the people who have made the production of the American Health Journal possible. Toshiba Medical Systems, providing physicians with imaging tools to improve diagnosis since 1914. This program has been presented in part by Ledesma and Meyer Construction. Building for a common vision. And generous assistance from HF Healthcare, serving the hemophiliac community. The American Health Journal, bringing you the latest information on medicine, psychology, diagnosis, treatment, and prevention. Major medical advances are made each week, and each week the American Health Journal keeps you up to date. Hello, and welcome to the special edition of the American Health Journal. I'm your host, Roger Cooper. With more and more Americans looking for a natural path to better health, it's no wonder approximately 87% of people in the U.S. today regularly take some form of dietary supplement. We'll discover the important role amino acids and other natural elements play in our bodies. Many of these elements can be obtained through diet and natural supplementation. We'll learn how one manufacturer has created a whole food supplement with the goal of delivering these essential elements. Elements which some physicians believe are the key to improving your health. We'll also hear from actor Kevin Sorbo of Hercules fame, who shares his own story and belief in a natural way to maintain good health. It's an episode of American Health Journal you won't want to miss. The human body is an exquisite machine, partly because it maintains functionality in a variety of environments. Humans can thrive in conditions ranging from the Arctic to the equator, and with a variety of diets and lifestyles. Part of the reason for this adaptability is the body's ability to maintain homeostasis, a state where all of the body's systems work together to maintain balance. We began by speaking with doctors Esther Mark, Jack Hurd, and Charles Norwood, all experts in anti-aging and healing. We'll learn more about systems and elements in the body that contribute to maintaining what they call a body in balance. When these vital elements are not in the body, then we see um, a big array of uh, symptoms. Uh, from uh, anxiety, uh, depression, uh, insomnia, uh, weight gain, um, increasing blood pressure, um, again, um, increasing blood sugar, uh, probably uh, predisposition to diabetes. Even skin issues increase wrinkling, dryness of the skin, uh, air falling, and uh, gastrointestinal um, effects. What are these vital elements? serotonin, uh, cortisol, amino acids, peptides, and hormones. Uh, serotonin is a neurotransmitter that is uh, produced actually in different part of the parts of the body. And the intestine is the part of the body that uh, synthesizes more of the serotonin. And then a smaller amount is produced in the brain. In fact, people that are uh, low in, uh, in serotonin, they tend to be uh, depressed, they, se they seem to have uh, more anxiety and less ability to cope to stressful events. Cortisol is a steroid hormone produced in the uh, adrenal gland and it's called the stress hormone. Cortisol is the only hormone that increase, increases with age. Every other hormone actually tends to uh, decrease. Um, cortisol is extremely important even though as let's say a bad reputation uh, because it is uh, related to, to stress. However, we cannot live without cortisol. A cortisol is important because in a uh, um, stressful situation, um, there could be a different nature, could be a psychological uh, situation, could, could be a, uh, we, so a mental illness, a physical illness, then we need, we need the cortisol to go up because the cortisol will increase uh, blood sugar. And of course we need blood sugar, the brain needs sugar, uh, when we are under, under stress. The problem with cortisol, uh, all the side effects that uh, we may see related to cortisol appear when cortisol is uh, um, produced in excessive amount. For example, uh, if we are under stress for a prolonged time, all the good effects of uh, cortisol will decrease and actually will have um, side effects or um, uh, negative uh, issues like uh, weight gain, high blood pressure, and even depression or mood alterations. 
So the uh, correlation between uh, cortisol and uh, uh, serotonin, they bo both can affect our uh, moods. And uh, if cortis cortisol is uh, produced or secreted in, in excess and serotonin is diminished, then we have the typical uh, picture of depression, again, uh, anxi anxiety, a difficulty to cope with everyday or uh, stressful events. Amino acids are the protein building blocks within the body that build the different connective tissue, the organs, ligaments, and the other connective tissue structures. Peptides are a, a very interesting because peptides are what hold the amino acids together to build the protein. You, you might think of it as the glue in the Lego building blocks. The, the peptides hold things together so that the proteins can be formed within the body. And essential amino acids are ones that you must consume within the body, that they're not produced within the body. The non-essential amino acids are one that your body is able to produce within its own structure. When you take amino acids, uh, your workout, when, when someone is injured, their muscles are sore, that means there's damage to those muscles, they recover much quicker when they take amino acids. The uh, healing mechanism has to do with all of the parts of the body coming into harmony with each other. Healing actually involves a cascade of events that is multifaceted. Um, the chemical is the one we think of first because of the pharmaceutical industry. But you also have a spiritual, mental aspect of healing. You have a nutritional aspect of healing. And then the emotional aspect. In the rest of the world, the mind-body connection is very important in healing. But in America, we've sort of put that aside. But there are some people in America that are promoting the concept of healing that is more natural. The process of aging is, on a cellular level, uh, damage to the individual cells that make up one particular part of the body. When these cells are damaged, they intentionally die out. And as they die out, the body gets weaker and weaker and loses some of its capabilities. If these cells can be repaired and literally rejuvenated, then the aging process is, is slowed down or, or stopped in some cases. Need the latest news on the treatment for depression, addiction, or sleep disorders? Now you can go online at AmericanHealthJournal.com. Thousands of videos straight from doctors. Now we turn our attention to a family of proteins called fibroblast growth factor. This important protein factor has anti-aging and healing specialists taking notice for its role in improved health. We spoke with clinical nutritionist Dr. Stephen Petrosino. He believes FGF may hold a key to unlocking healing for a range of symptoms, from joint pain and poor quality hair, skin, and nails, to poor sleep, low energy, low libido, and even depression. And fibroblast growth factor is essentially a factor that directs uh, some uh, and orchestrates uh, some of the development of undifferentiated stem cells. And uh, st stem cells are what are called pluripotent cells. They essentially can become anything. A stem cell doesn't know if it's going to become part of the liver or part of the eye or part of the muscle in your arm. Uh, but at one point, there are directions that are given to that undifferentiated stem cell, and that stem cell then differentiates into that particular organ or tissue. And so fibroblast growth factor, or FGF, plays a role in the direction of those undifferentiated stem cells into becoming what they ultimately will become. One of the reasons we believe that uh, fibroblast growth factor is beneficial in areas of damage is that uh, when fibroblast growth factor uh, can direct uh, the development of stem cells to repair tissue, uh, that, uh, that helps with a uh, repair of damage that occurs perhaps in the brain, in the heart, or other parts of uh, body tissues. Fibroblast growth factor is present uh, in areas of the body where there's damage, and they're involved in the healing process and also in uh, the uh, importance of stem cells. Research on FGF began over 80 years ago when it was discovered to exist in a surprisingly common whole food source. 
Dr. Davidson uh, was a uh, renowned medical doctor that uh, practiced in Canada uh, from the late 1920s into the 1940s. And his research uh, uh, was done primarily with fertilized eggs. And uh, he actually found a process by which uh, an extract of the white of a fertilized uh, hen's egg was freeze-dried, and he used that extract to treat patients with cancer and was finding remarkable success. About 50 years later, other researchers in Norway uh, found by serendipity this research and uh, added to it, and the end result is the product we know as laminine. There was uh, uh, a seminal or early study that was done on fibroblast gro uh, growth factor, or FGF, that was published in the Journal of Science way back in, I believe, 1962. And uh, that particular study showed that uh, fibroblast growth factor concentrates in areas of the body that are undergoing, uh, have undergone damage. Uh, that study looked at areas of the brain and found that where there was damage, like a stroke, fibroblast growth factor would concentrate in the area of the damage to assist in the repair. In what year did dietary supplements first come on the U.S. market? A. 1910, B. 1938, or C. 1963? The answer when we return. Looking for the latest information on breast cancer, diabetes, healthy diets, or a new hip? Now you can go online at AmericanHealthJournal.com. Thousands of videos straight from doctors. In what year did dietary supplements first come on the U.S. market? The answer is B. The first recorded instance of dietary supplements can be traced back to the year 1938, when the Federal Food and Drug and Cosmetic Act came into existence. With their creation came also the acknowledgement of the vitamin, mineral, and certain other characteristics of food. Welcome back to the American Health Journal. We now take a close look at a supplement called laminine that aims to deliver a combination of amino acids and fibroblast growth factor. Physicians tell us this combination may work as an adaptogen in the body which may assist patients suffering from a variety of ailments. We spoke with Dr. Kim Jabrowski and Bernard Schauda and others involved in the research and development of whole food supplements. Well, laminine is a unique product. First of all, it takes the uh, fertilized avian egg uh, right at the uh, specific stage before it creates a full-blown chicken, if you will. All of the life essence, all the ingredients necessary to create life we're at their highest point at a particular stage. Laminine extracts part of that in conjunction with a marine protein and a plant protein that synergistically work together to have an unbelievable effect on the body. We've been in the business, in the supplements business for the past 12 years. Uh, we've had some success at it. We've had hundreds of products out in the market. But as someone who is in the supplements business, we are always uh, on the lookout or on a search for that one perfect supplement that we could uh, that encompasses all the health benefits whether it's in one capsule or in one tablet we have discovered uh, a unique ingredient back in 2003 which was made of a fertilized egg extract we have a product that is actually manufactured uh, in Southern California here. It's produced by a GMP lab, Good Manufacturing Practices, which are overseen by the regulatory bodies for the quality and assurance of the product. So we have an American-made product. Laminine is a very interesting product because what it essentially is is a functional food. And as we all know, nutrition is the source that we all need to live. It's the fuel that we live on. Unfortunately, in today's world, all the food that we eat, we tend to saute it and grill it and fry it, and we do all these wonderful things to our food which really uh, delight our palate, but it doesn't always provide our body what it truly needs. The question, what is the effective ingredient in laminine, and the, the answer is that uh, laminine is essentially a whole food. Uh, it uh, is an extract from a nine-day fertilized uh, uh, avian egg or hen's egg. Uh, the, uh, uh, the hen has been raised uh, pretty much in organic standards, so it's a good high-quality egg. They extract on the ninth day from this fertilized egg the white of the egg. The white of the egg contains 
contains important elements, including fibroblast growth factor, uh, as well as uh, a range of 20 very important amino acids, the essential uh, life uh, function to support the chick that's going to be developing in that egg. So the egg is harvested on the ninth day. These factors are at their greatest concentration. Uh, the product is freeze-dried or lyophilized, uh, meaning it's put into a powdered form without the application of heat. And because of that, these fragile proteins are not damaged or denatured. And it's uh, 20 amino acids. You need 22. So they've also brought an amino acid from the green pea and also one from fish to balance out. And you have both, in, in that case, all the essential and non-essential amino acids. And so it's a total uh, protein building blocks with the laminine. And it's so important because when there's tissue damage or injury or over workouts, this, this the laminine really does rebuild the tissues. I had a patient recently that, that was uh, getting very sore after workouts. He began on the laminine and, and his recovery time is so much quicker. Laminine isn't technically curing anything. What it's doing is it's getting your body back to a place to where it can help and repair itself. It's really simple. It's what's called an adaptogen. Laminine treats the imbalances in our body. We've all heard the term homeostasis. We always want to be in balance. We don't want to work all the time, yet we don't want to sleep all the time either. There has to be a balance in nature and a balance within our bodies to achieve optimum health. And if you can get a balance there, then your body's going to be able to work at optimum levels. And in my opinion, that's what laminine does. Laminine fills in the potholes of your road before you hit them, as opposed to the Western medicine way of doing things, where we tend to fill in the potholes of your road after you hit them. And therefore, it has a myriad of different effects on different people, aside from just raising your mood and lowering your anxiety. What inspired me to take it was uh, I have been depressed, clinically depressed, for many, many years. All the way back as a child, my dad said, son, you're just never happy. You're just never happy. No matter what I give you, a few minutes later, you're just never happy. And I have had the, an enormous roller coaster ride all my life, uh, clinically depressed. I've had a bipolar disorder um, and a compulsive disorder. If you ask yourself, how can one thing help someone with low blood sugar and help at the other end of the spectrum? How can one thing help with someone who's having trouble sleeping, help you to sleep and still give you energy? How does that work, right, to ask rhetorically? Well, it's because of how laminine is doing. It's filling in those potholes. It's raising the good stuff and it's lowering the bad stuff in terms of equalizing or getting your body back to a place what you probably heard the term homeostasis. I take one a day. That's it. Just one. I, I took two at uh, bedtime one night when I was feeling like I wasn't going to sleep very well. And that was the only time I've ever taken two. But I get great sleep and I'm feeling wonderful. I've got a lot of energy. You're watching the American Health Journal, the show that brings you the latest information on prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and research from doctors throughout the United States. Watch the American Health Journal each week on this PBS station. With more on what supplements can do for you, here's our reporter, Laura Windsor. Homeostasis, equilibrium, achieving this balance in your body can help you sleep or give you energy or perhaps help with aching joints, improving skin, hair, and nail quality. It can aid in maintaining concentration and focus. It can relieve depression or anxiety. Doctors report that Laminine, a whole food product, is helping patients bring about a homeostatic state, which can help relieve these symptoms. When we look at providing nutrition to the body in the form of a whole food, we're talking about providing it in its raw source with all the nutrients that are required for the body to be able to utilize that. Now let's look at that as opposed to something like a drug as an example. A drug is a chemical. It forces the body to do something whether the body wants to or not. That's a chemical reaction. What we're doing here is we're inviting the body to a place of healing. We're inviting the body to a response by providing it the nutrients that it needs. So it's a totally different concept between forcing and inviting. That to me is the ideal for alternative health. In America, we're dealing with stress, and a byproduct of stress is depression and anxiety. And when you have the brain chemistry that gets messed up because of this, you can treat it with, with drugs, chemicals, which pretty much overlay the, the uh, problem. But if you can go in and help those individual cells, the neurons of the brain, to heal and recover, 
then you've accomplished something much more important. And I think we're seeing clinically evidence of this happening. Many nutritional supplements are associated with uh, uh, beneficial effects in the folks that take them. And the list with laminine was so extensive uh, that I at first dismissed it because uh, as a clinical scientist myself, I'm used to uh, looking at uh, nutritional supplements that have benefits in one specific area. For instance, the B vitamins having benefit in energy. And uh, uh, for instance, uh, collagen products helping the joint uh, and uh, uh, other products having benefits in the area of sleep. but. Rarely did I ever see one product with so many benefits. Some of the longer term benefits uh, I've found with laminine is increased energy and stamina. Uh, again, we have clinicals to back this up, and I personally use it even today every time I go to the gym. It's not a wiry type energy that you might expect from caffeine or drinking coffee or anything like that. It's a strong intercourse stamina, and of course it has been proven clinically to actually increase strength. I think that when people are feeling good health-wise, they just, they smile, they feel better. You know, when you provide these nutrients to the body, whether we are actually helping the body uh, create more serotonin in the brain, that happy chemical that, that gives us uh, that happy, good outlook on life, um, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic thing. We tend to want to contribute more. We want to be more socially engaged. We want to go and contribute in our, in our whole society more. You know, a lot of people come home from work, they lock themselves in their house, and they just don't feel good enough to go out and, and really uh, interact with people. Uh, I think this product helps us just raise the health integrity of our body to a point that we just, we feel good about what we're doing and going out and, and getting new things done. I hear uh, heartwarming stories from customers and people who are taking the product, whether it's had an effect on their parents, family, loved ones, but such heartwarming stories that I hear every day, and that's why we're in this business. Supplements are useful as an addition to diet and exercise, which can help you have a balanced and healthier life. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor. This is Dr. Ray from Dr. 90210, and you are very smart because you're watching the American Health Journal. And now, actor Kevin Sorbo visits with the American Health Journal. He shares his story of recovery. My name is Kevin Sorbo, and people might know me from two long-running series I had. I played Hercules on TV. It was Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. I shot that from 1993 to 2000, living in New Zealand. Then I did another series called Andromeda right after that for five years, from 2000 to 2005. I did have a bit of a health scare uh, between seasons five and six on Hercules, where uh, I was supposed to come back to America to shoot a movie for Universal Studios. And the last three months in New Zealand, I kept having these weird uh, pains in my left shoulder. I couldn't figure out what was going on. It was going down into my arm, into my fingers. And these three fingers were getting more numb and more cold all the time. And I went to the gym to work out, uh, and I couldn't even pick up 10 pounds. At the time, and I'm six, a little over 6'3", I weighed 235, I was in great shape. I suffered a very strong sensation in the back of my head where uh, I, I got dizzy, I felt like I was falling backwards, like heavy vertigo, I just kept falling and falling, and, and even though I was sitting like I am now, and my vision just went absolutely crazy. I was rushed to the hospital. Kevin suffered an aneurysm and a series of three strokes and spent the next four months in rehabilitation basically went from a guy that was 38 years old and probably in better shape than most guys in their 20s to a 90-year-old man within seconds. But you know what? The doctors did save my life, but at the same time, the prognosis they gave me was after eight, nine months, this is three neuro different neurologists saying, wherever you are, that's it. Whatever you're feeling, you have to live with that the rest of your life. Well, after eight, nine months, I still wasn't doing very good. And I said, this, this, there's just no way. Kevin credits his full recovery to the encouragement of his family healthy living, and a Herculean will. He also includes natural products containing amino acids and fibroblast growth factor into his supplement routine. I still have repercussions from it, and a lot of years have passed since, and this happened in 1997. And it wasn't until um, this year, here we are, what, 15 or 14, 15 years later, uh, where I was introduced to laminine. It's interesting. I, I call it a drug. It's not a drug. It's like a, it's like a vitamin. It's like a pill. It's like a, it's like a supplement. And um, I, have, I have found it to be rather amazing uh, in terms of just 
lowering you know, the mood swings or feeling more alert, to feel more alive, to feel like uh, there's, there's positive things going on when, when Hollywood's such a negative business. <laughs> I have certainly found my attention level spiking and my retention level spiking. As an actor, I've got to memorize a lot of lines. And I just finished two movies back to back, and it's just, it's, it's important that I'm on my game. I like to be a professional when I'm on the set. Laminine is something that certainly to me has just put an extra spark in my life. And talking to the people that, that take it, there is a common denominator in there, but at the same time, people have different stories to tell about. Maybe it, it fills voids, I think. It fills a void that maybe you have. You know, maybe you have problems with your joints, and maybe this will be something that helps you with joint pain. Maybe you have problems with memory, and this will help you with memory. I mean, to me, it's just, it just seemed to, it, I sleep better as well. I just found it to be uh, just an excellent reinforcement to my, my daily life. Kevin speaks to us about his book, True Strength, and gives us his message to those who are on their own journey to recovery. But I said, I have to write this book. My wife bothered me for years to write the book because she goes, you know, you got a story to tell. You survived an aneurysm exploding in your body. You, su you, you, you survived three strokes and you had basically a full recovery. I, I know what my limitations are now. I know that I'm not the same. Most people walking around, seeing me walking around, wouldn't know. They would think he looks normal. I know what I've gone through. I know what I've lost as an athlete, as, as a person. I know what, what things are missing in me. The book is titled True Strength for a number of reasons, but the, the, obviously the biggest reason is Hercules wasn't true strength. You know, I was, a, I was an actor playing the strongest man in the world and having stunt guys making me look like I really was this tough. And uh, the book comes, the title really means to find the true strength within yourself. So I tell people, don't let other people set your limitations. I want this book to be an inspirational book. I want people to, to push past the, past the boundaries and the chains that we put ourselves and other people put us in and be more positive and look in the mirror and say, I'm going to get better. My wife gave me a mantra I said every day. And I'd look in the mirror and say, I'm getting better and I'm getting stronger. I'm getting better I'm getting stronger. I would say it every day. And that's this edition of the American Health Journal. If you have any questions about the topics or doctors that appeared on our show today, you can contact us at 1-800-303-3200. Or now, you can explore our new website, AmericanHealthJournal.com. All of our interviews with doctors with a wealth of health information can be seen there. That's AmericanHealthJournal.com. I'm Roger Cooper. Thanks for joining us. <music>